More often than not, roller coasters are the signature attractions at amusement parks. However, some of the most important rides for parks are flat rides. They give the midway energy, divert crowds away from the marquee attractions, and offer a change of pace. In this video, I thought it'd be fun to share my favorite version of several common and a few not so common flat rides. Starting off with Aerostrats, my favorite is the flying machines at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Along with being a classic ride, this version is a top of gift shop, so you get some really nice views of the midway. For air races, my favorite is Loopworks at Funworks in Dubai. The reason being is that this one's indoors and you have very minimal clearance with the ceiling. This creates for a lot of near misses and when you have the lights of the arcade as well, the ride gets extremely disorienting. For balloon rides, my favorite is Over the Rainbow at Canopy Lake Park. While this ride is more or less targeted towards kids, if you go on as an adult, you can really get these balloons spinning much faster than a teacup. For break dances, my favorite is Dancer, which I found on the European Fair Circuit. This ride was run insane. It had a 7 minute cycle, and I have never been on a break dance that spun this hard. It is rare for me to come off a ride dizzy, but this ride did it. For bumper boats, my favorite is the Old Mill Pond Bumper Boats at Clark's Trading Post. These bumper boats had an insanely long cycle, and when I reviewed some video footage my family took of me riding it way back in the 90s, the footage lasted for 8 minutes, and I came off soaked. My favorite bumper cars are the Eldorado Auto Scooter at Coney Island. While people may be surprised not to see the scooters at Knobles, I really love the atmosphere on the ones at Coney Island. It feels like a dance club with all the lights and music. Plus, the cars hit pretty hard, but the operators make this ride. They often hang onto the cars as you drive around the corner, and even crazier, there's one employee in a supercar that will absolutely wreck everyone, and it just had me cracking up laughing. My favorite carousel is the Grand Carousel at Knobles. The main reason is because you can catch those brass rings, and then at the end of the ride you can get to throw them inside the mouth. My favorite disco is Riddler Revolution at Warner Brothers World Abu Dhabi. Warner Brothers World is already an indoor park, but Riddler Revolution is placed in this little warehouse inside the indoor building, and that warehouse has all sorts of lighting and fog effects that make the ride even more dizzying than normal. I made a separate video on my favorite drop towers, but my favorite drop tower is Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout at Disney's California Adventure. However, that one's a bit too elaborate to be a true flat ride in my opinion. So my favorite general drop tower is Hurricane Condor at Port Aventura. The main reason is it's incredibly tall, and you also have the stand-up floorless side, which is absolutely thrilling. My favorite enterprise is Wildstorm at Hamanako Pal Pal. This may be another one that may not count, but I really want to highlight this flat ride. This ride looks similar to the Zamperla Endeavors that have been introduced, except the seats are able to rock at various points during the ride. This results in pure mayhem as you're wildly rocking while simultaneously flipping upside down at a very fast rate. My favorite ferris wheel is the Wonder Wheel at Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Not only does the ride give an amazing view of Coney Island and the beach, but you have those famous rocking cars that are an added thrill. My favorite flying carpet is the Conestoga at Lake Winnipesaukee. I love this ride because the lap bar rests a good foot above your lap, much like a buzz bar, and on the max swings, you get insanely long, sustained floater airtime. I was shocked how far I came out of my seat and for how long. My favorite flying scooters are actually flying aces at Lagoon. I know a lot of people like the flyer at Knobles, but I find at Knobles they are very much against snapping, especially more recently. Meanwhile at Lagoon, the operators were encouraging me to snap and I was able to get some really wild rides on it. My favorite frisbee is Loki at Lisaburg, a rare Intamin gyro swing. This one had really nice restraints, and on the max swings, I got some major sustained airtime. It was sustained better than a lot of the other versions you can find at parks, like the Zamperla ones or the Huss ones. For hamster wheels, my favorite is Brain Surge at Nickelodeon Universe. I like how the chance versions allow you to control the rotation with a lever, whereas on something like Looper or Knobles, you have to manually do it. And the reason I like Brain Surge at Nickelodeon Universe is all the lights and kinetic energy of the mall make it extra disorienting. 
My favorite Himalaya is Matterhorn at Canopy Lake Park. Unfortunately, this ride was removed over a decade ago because Canopy literally ran it into the ground because of how quickly they ran it. Since I couldn't find an image I could use for this video of the old one at Canopy, I am instead using a photo of one I found at Oktoberfest a few years ago. This one rocked well beyond the 90 degrees horizontal, and the one at Canopy rocked even further than that. It was incredible. My favorite inverter is the one at Adventure Dome, mostly because this one has no mechanical issues in my visits. My favorite kitty roundabout is Everybody Twist at Fuji Q Highland. In this one, you ride around in little trains, but what made it special is that the operators gave me a tambourine to play during the ride while they played this ridiculous music. Everyone was having a great time playing their tambourine and singing and dancing in their car. My favorite observation tower is the Eiffel Tower at Kings Island. One, I really like how you're allowed to stay up for as long as you want, so you're not rushed like if you're on something like an observation tower that rotates. Second, I also really like how you can get some awesome off-ride footage of the roller coasters at Kings Island, which are otherwise very hard to film. My favorite parachute tower is the Parachute Training Center at Six Flags Great Adventure. Not only is this tower ridiculously tall, but you get an awesome view of the entire park. My favorite paratrooper is the one that used to operate at Fun Spot Orlando. This one was a little bit different in that it always was angled upwards, whereas some of the other ones lower when they're being loaded, but this one was run far faster than any other paratrooper I've ever ridden. My favorite power surge is one that's run by Rainier Amusements. This company's operator removed the locking pin in my vehicle, so I got some insane spinning and rocking during the ride, far more than I've gotten in any other power surge. My favorite racing derby is the one you can find at Rye Playland in the Derby Racer. This one's run fairly similar to the one you can find at Cedar Point, except at Rye Playland, the operators will hop off and on the platform while the ride is in motion, which is really cool to see. My favorite Ring of Fire ride is El Diablo at Six Flags Over Texas. The reason I like this one best is the sheer size of it. My favorite Rocco plane is the one that you can find at Arnold's Park. I've found all the Rocco planes that I've ridden to be similar from a ride perspective, but the one at Arnold's Park had an insanely long cycle and the operator just let me stay on as long as I wanted. My favorite Rolo plane is the Satellite at Knobles. Of the ones I've ridden, Satellite is the only one that still has the horizontal rotation, which is downright wild. You are flung side to side getting these crazy laterals, while the vertical section is more or less about getting these disorienting twists at the last second. My favorite roto jets are the ones at Magic Kingdom and Astro Orbiter. I love how the ride is perched atop a tower, so you get an amazing view of Tomorrowland. Granted, I don't ride it very often because I hate the wait for this ride. My favorite rotor is Turkish Twist at Canopy Lake Park. This rotor is run far faster than any other I've ever ridden. You are plastered to the wall, and I believe it rotates at 33 RPMs according to the park. My favorite roundup is the Wild Nightmares at Canada's Wonderland. The larger size of this wheel makes the forces feel even stronger than your average roundup. My favorite scrambler is the Astrosphere at Funtown USA. I have a separate video going into indoor scramblers in general, but I just love when a park takes your average flat ride and puts it indoors. And the Astrosphere is the best one of this example because the light show is spectacular and it's an attraction in itself. My favorite scream and swing is upswing it at Lisaburg. Please note I have not been to Glenwood Caverns, but the one at Lisaburg has a similar effect, much to a lesser extent. This one is perched atop a hill, so when you swing outwards, you're staring downwards a good 50 or 60 feet, and you have the usual sustained airtime on the max swings. My favorite shake is the shake on the European Fair Circuit. The reason being, much like the break dance I mentioned earlier, this one just ran an insane cycle. It was run faster and far longer than any park version I've come across. I was surprised I liked this one better than Tic Tac at Tivoli Gardens, and while Tic Tac looks amazing with that lighting package and theming, it's just not run nearly as intensely as the one on the European Fair Circuit. My favorite Sky Coaster is the Sky Coaster at Fun Spot Kissimmee. The main reason being it is the world's tallest Sky Coaster. So the drop lasts longer, and this ride's so good, it has spoiled a lot of the smaller sky coasters for me. My favorite skyscraper is Vertigo at Tivoli Gardens. 
This may be cheating to call this a skyscraper, but it's the ride that is closest to in my opinion. Vertigo pulls the best sustained positive G's of any ride and you're pretty much guaranteed to gray out. You also have amazing views of downtown Copenhagen and it's extremely disorienting with all the twisting and inverting as well. My favorite sky roller is Squadron 33 at Playland's Castaway Cove. This one is easier to flip than the Gerslauer versions and the ride offers a much more diverse range of sensations. You get some fast rotations towards the bottom, and at the top, the rotations are more drawn out, so you get some nice hang time over the top. My favorite slingshot is the Super Sling at Bigfoot Fun Park in Missouri. I like this one far better than the traditional slingshots because you're much more exposed with that saddle seating arrangement. And on this one, I find you can get way more flips because you're able to throw your weight into it and add some flips on the way down. My favorite spider is the polyp in it, Bakken. This one ran a much longer cycle than the other spiders I've ridden, and this one also seemed to be run a bit faster as well. My favorite spin out is Havoc at Galaxyland. Like the air race I mentioned earlier, the reason I prefer this spin out best is because it's indoors and it's extremely disorienting with all the lights of Galaxyland. My favorite star flyer is the Wind Seeker at Cedar Point. I know it's technically a Mondial version. I just love how this ride brings you up so high in the air, you get an amazing view of Cedar Point's skyline, and it feels like you're literally right over the water when you're spinning at the top of the tower. It's just a shame the ride doesn't operate more because of the wind issues. My favorite swing around is the Downdraft at Knobles. This one is run a bit faster, and when you swing outwards, you actually get some airtime in this version. My favorite swinging inverter ship is Top Gun at Fiesta Shows. This is a classic kamikaze ride, and because of the loose restraints, you get some freaky hang time over the top. My favorite swinging ship is the pirate ship at Palace Playland. I'm not a big fan of swinging ships, but this one is my favorite because the lap bar rests really high above your lap, and on the max swings, you get some good floater airtime because of the sheer size of the boat. My favorite swing ride is the water swings at Indiana Beach. The ride is built over the water, so you get these awesome visuals. But what really makes it special is that the swings come so freakily close to the ones in front of you. That's downright terrifying. My favorite teacup ride are the teacups at Six Flags New England. These ones are extremely easy to spin, but beyond that, the park also does holiday overlays for the ride. My favorite techno jump is the Voodoo Jumper at Oktoberfest. This ride is run faster than the ones I found elsewhere, but what really makes it special are all the effects. You have a dazzling lighting package, fog, smoke, music, and even fire. My favorite Tilt-A-Whirl is the Tilt-A-Whirl at Interstate Amusement Company in Seaside, Oregon. Unlike a lot of Tilt-A-Whirls that just have a standard program, this one is manually operated. And I was surprised to see a tip jar next to the operator when I got on the ride. But after I rode it, I understood why. The operator will strategically slow down and speed up the platform to maximize the spins of each rider. And it was so good, I actually tipped the operator when I got off. I have never gotten this dizzy on a Tilt-A-Whirl. It rivaled my ride in a waltzer, which I'll get to in a little bit. My favorite top scan is the Skater at Oktoberfest. Unlike the top scans I've ridden in North America that feel a bit toned down, the one in Germany was run to its full potential. The ride pulled some insane G's, had some airtime over the top, and the near misses were augmented by the insane lighting package. It is one of my favorite rides anywhere, and in fact, it was my favorite ride at Oktoberfest. Yes, I liked it more than Olympia Looping. My favorite top spin is Talacon at Fantasia Land. The main reason being all the theming. That temple wall on the back really makes it a disorienting experience, but you also have some fire and music effects as well. Combine that with your usual forceful program with a lot of flipping, and I loved Talacon. My favorite tornado type ride is Mindwinder at Yesterland Farm. Like some of the other spinning rides in this list, the vehicles were insanely easy to spin, which resulted in a dizzying ride. My favorite Troika or Orbiter ride is the Orbiter at Lake Lanapasaki. The reason being, this one ran a fairly long cycle and it just felt faster than the other ones I've ridden. My favorite Tubs of Fun ride is the Cuckoo Clock and Spiel at Storyland. 
For one, just look at how beautiful the exterior of this attraction is. Storyland went all out theming this generic flat ride. Second, the tubs are the easiest to spin of any flat ride I've been on. This results in a very dizzying ride experience. My favorite Tumblr or Nebula's ride is the Inferno at Washington State Fair. I was bummed out I missed out on the old Tampico Tumblr and the Jimmy Neutron Atom Smasher rides that used to operate at Knott's Berry Farm and Nickelodeon Universe respectively. But I was thrilled to finally get on Inferno at the Washington State Fair last year. While this ride didn't offer airtime like I expected, the sheer amount of near misses was mesmerizing to see. My favorite waltzer is the waltzer I came across at South Pier in Blackpool. Unlike a lot of the other flat rides I've ridden, the operators were literally on the platform while the ride operated. And what they did in this case is they would manually push your vehicle as you went around, which made the spinning insane. Basically take your average tilt-a-whirl, but crank up the speed times two. My favorite whip is the one that I rode at Rye Playland. This one has run far faster than the other ones I've ridden, so when you whip around those far turns, you're banging side to side during the straightaway section. My favorite Wipeout or Travant ride is Cyclone Slams at Worlds of Fun. Like the scramble I mentioned earlier, Worlds of Fun took your average Wipeout ride and put it indoors. Combine that with lighting and music, and you made an average ride extraordinary. It's one of my favorite rides at Worlds of Fun, and you get a few gentle pops of airtime at the top, but what really stands out are all those laterals in the darkness. Last but not least, my favorite zipper is the zipper at Fiesta Shows. I'm a bit nostalgic towards this one because this was the first zipper I ever rode, but I find the one at Fiesta Shows just seems to run a more intense program. Maybe it's just because I run the ride longer, but I always get a lot more flips in this one. So those are my favorite versions of several common and not so common flat rides out there. I know I went through some of the rides relatively quickly, but there were a lot to cover. What are some of your favorite flat rides out there? I would love to hear down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you gave it a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and Muse Park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.